My name is Daniel and this is me and my mum Patricia Granger. On August 10th 1997 my mum was found in a stream uh, on what was known locally as the Brook in Parsons Cross by some youths playing in the area. This year will be 22 years since her murder. 22 years her killers have been working through. She was found just over a mile away from home. She had been murdered for nothing more than someone sick banter. her. She had a mental age of 12 and would become friends with anyone who would give her the time of day. This person had betrayed her, they'd abused that trust. She had no self-defence marks uh, on her body, meaning this person either frightened my mum to the point of not wanting to fight back, or they're not too unconscious, or she trusted them and they still hurt her. The truth, it's not fully been publicised until now. They stabbed her multiple times, including to the neck, they strangled my mum, they raped her, they mutilated her for pleasure. They mutilated her nipples, removing one and attempting to remove the other. They continued to cut out and they continued to cut out and mutilated her vagina. To know this happened to my mum and to have to keep this covered up for so long on the hope this person would hand themselves in. But as far as I'm concerned, their time is up and it's time for the truth to be known. This person or they, they're sick, they're twisted, they're borderline if not already showing the signs of someone who would do this again. A psychopath, a serial killer, sexual predator, you name it. She wasn't treated as human. She was treated as worthless and abused in unforgivable ways. We know my mum was alive 21 hours before she was found in the brook, although she had been missing from home for nearly a week. We still don't know where she was staying that week, although we have possible and confirmed sightings that week in the Parsons Cross and Northern General Hospital areas. Did you see my mum that week? Did she stay at yours? Whatever the reason for not coming forward before, I don't care. We just need information like this to help solve this and let my mum rest in peace. If you do know anything, or even think you do, please do get in touch. Even if you got in touch back in 1997, South Yorkshire Police haven't been great with retaining my mum's property, and with it now being a cold case, evidence could have been lost. Please come forward.